Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with y'all how to make sake to me cake. My mother loved to bake. She would bake from scratch or use box cakes and doctor them up and this was one of her favorite doctored up box cakes. It's sake to me cake. Now it's easy to make but you definitely want to follow a couple of key things in order to have your cake come out right. So in my bowl, I have one cup of chopped pecans and to my chopped pecans, I added two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and then I added two tablespoons of light brown sugar. You want to be sure that you thoroughly mix and blend the cinnamon, the light brown sugar and the one cup of chopped pecans together. And see, you want to have it look like this. It's all nice and incorporated together. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to do our cake mix. I'm using Duncan Hines and back in the day, way back in the day, they used to actually have this recipe on the back of the box. My mom cut it out probably sometime in the late 70s, early 80s I think and just had it on the refrigerator for years and years. But this is how the cake is made. So, so far we have our cake mix and that was a 15.25 ounce box of cake mix and we're using the golden butter recipe okay it says golden butter recipe is what you want to use now next what i'm doing is i'm putting in some oil i'm using a half a cup of vegetable oil specifically you need to use either crisco oil or puritan oil it's very specific any other vegetable oil brand could possibly make the cake uh, fall and sink into itself so be sure that you use either crisco or puritan i also put in my mixer a fourth of a cup of regular granulated sugar and a fourth of a cup of water. Now to that we're going to be adding some sour cream and you want to use a thicker sour cream. So Newton sour cream is the one that I'm using because it's on the thicker side and that's the one that my mom would always use when she made sakatumi cake or any time that she made cake and she needed sour cream. Next I put in my eggs and I had four eggs and my eggs were at room temperature and so my eggs are also large eggs that I'm using and so once you put your eggs in go ahead and let your mixer mix your ingredients together on kind of like a low speed till they start to kind of all blend together then make sure if you're using a mixer like I am I like to stop it and go ahead and scrape the bottom just to make sure that anything that's captured in the bottom that it gets captured back into the blades now once my cake is nice and mixed it's gonna look like this and we're going to be baking our cake in a bun pan. I'm using the 10 cup bun pan and so that's the one that I'm using. I went on ahead and sprayed my bun pan with some nonstick spray and then I also coated it lightly with some regular all purpose flour. I'm going to put a third of the batter into the bun pan and then I'm going to go ahead and use our filling. I'm going to sprinkle it all around. Initially it didn't seem like it's like a lot of filling but trust me it's a lot and again that's one cup of chopped pecans, two tablespoons of light brown sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon and this is going to give us that nice filling in the middle and I'm going to share with you how to get that really nice swirl as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the balance of our cake batter on top of our filling. Now if you are using a 13.25 ounce box of the butter recipe um, or golden recipe um, cake mix, you want to use a third of a cup of vegetable oil versus a half a cup. Now in the description box below, I will have a list of ingredients you need to make this wonderful and easy sake to me cake. Also, if you're not using sour cream and you don't have sour cream in your area and you want to substitute something, you want to use Greek yogurt and you want to use a thick Greek yogurt. Now see with the swirl, you see how I took the butter knife and I'm going back and forth in like a Z or a zigzag pattern. Back and forth. You want to be mindful not to touch the bottom of the pan. Go back and forth just like I'm doing there. This is going to help create that nice swirl pattern in the middle of your cake. It's also going to help your cake to stay together 
and not break in the middle. Sometimes when our cake has like a streusel feeling that it will separate in the middle and this will help that to not happen and create a nice little swirl in the middle. So our cake is going to go in the oven at 375 degrees. It's going to bake anywhere from 35 minutes up to 40 or 45 minutes depending on your oven. So our cake is out of the oven. I went on ahead and I let it cool. So now it's nice and cool and it's cool on the bottom. I use my butter knife. I go around the sides just like that and I lift up from the sides and then in the middle I just kind of separate the cake from the ring and you just kind of want to be really careful with that because you don't want to um, end up cutting your cake by accident. And then I shake it and when my cake starts to lift up when I'm shaking it that's what I'm looking for and then I'm going to flip. When I go to flip my cake I do one quick swift motion. If not you're going to end up with cake on the counter and, and cake on the ground. That has happened to me before. So when you're flipping your cake always do it in one quick swift motion. So this is what our cake is looking like. I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes more before we go ahead and we put a little nice drizzle on top. So our cake has been cooling for just a little bit more. And I'm going to put the classic drizzle on top of our cake. In my bowl, I have one cup of powdered sugar and to that I added two tablespoons of milk. And I'm using 2% milk. You can use whole milk as well. You can use 1% milk. You can also use half and half. And because I am using some milk, any leftover cake, I'll definitely be um, sure to refrigerate. Now once my icing is nice and it's blended and I don't have any more lumps from the powdered sugar, I go ahead and start to drizzle all over the cake just like that. This is also a great cake if you want to take it to the picnic. Often we would have it at the picnic. It goes great when you're having barbecue and barbecue ribs and chicken and everything, potato salad. This is always a cake that we would see at the table for picnics, family reunions, church gatherings, different things. It is just about Mother's Day and I'm making this to share with my sister because this reminds us so much of our mom and she, this is one of her favorite cakes that she made. I'm cutting into our cake and I'm going to go ahead, serve us up some. I'm going to let y'all have the first bite and we're going to see how we did today with this wonderful socket to me cake. Our swirl is in there and it is looking so good. And if you wanted to have a double swirl or like a two layer swirl, you put a third of the cake mix, half of our streusel swirl mixture, another third of the cake mix, then you top that with the second half of our cinnamon streusel mixture, then you would top that with the balance of our cake batter. Go ahead and take your bite. I'm going to take my bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This cake always brings back so many good memories. And if you're going to be doing the two layers of swirl mixture, make sure you go ahead and still do that zigzag pattern in your cake batter with your butter knife. Well, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you like this video and appreciate the content, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up and click share and share this video with a friend or a family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.